one more example. Here, we want to know which of the following number lines below represents the inequality that x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and is less than or equal to 6. So here right away, we should be able to see that we have a greater than or equal to with the negative 2, which means that my range can include negative 2. So I should be able to eliminate both answers that don't have a filled in circle on my negative 2 point. I'm not including 6, so I should have an open circle at 6, which is both of these two. So I can't eliminate a second one, but right off the bat, I can eliminate 2 by remembering that. Now here, I'm looking for x less than 6, so my number line should be pointing this direction from the 6, and greater than or equal to negative 2, so I should be pointing this direction, which means that a is my answer. But if I wasn't sure at this point, then I could also look at a number that should fit in here. So x should be able to be less than 6, as long as it's greater than negative 2. So 5 is both less than 6 and greater than negative 2. On this graph, 5 is included, which is perfect because it should be included. On this graph, if I go to 5, it's not included. So that would automatically let me know that this one's not going to work. And this is the sort of case where you can also use plugging in if you want to be able to see. And if you'd used that right off the bat, you could have eliminated 2 in the same way that we were able to eliminate 2 just from using the greater than or equal to sign and the fact that something should be filled in. So as long as you remember sort of those basic things about number lines, you should be good to go on these problems. Thanks again for watching Educator.com.